Hey guys, it's Ruthless Dribble TV, and today I'm going to be bringing you a gameplay, or a gameplay commentary on Jungle. The uh, the style I'm going to be doing today is Domination. I like to play Domination a lot because uh, it's a really cool objective game, and uh, it gets pretty easy. So, in this game I go 39 and 7. Yeah, 39 and 7. And I'm playing very aggressive, something I normally don't really do. And I was playing aggressive because uh, I felt comfortable with the people I was playing with, and I trusted them with uh, watching my back. So up here, a lot of guys were hogging that house. I didn't really pick off anything. And I go to throw in a grenade up here, and I catch this guy slipping. And so this guy goes. I ditch him to go pick off some guys. And right about here is where I have a very big mistake. And I just felt so stupid after that, so I, I failed pretty bad. So, as I run over here, I don't pick up on anything, and I just, it gets pretty slow. So, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I see that guy die, and I figured, ah, no biggie. And by the time I turn around, I get knifed, and I fail pretty bad once again. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the video game does start off pretty slow, and it picks up dirt towards the middle. So we control both A and B, which is something you want to do in Domination. And just play the objectives and you win. I mean, you don't have to control all three. Just control A and B, but B is the one that you mainly want to control. So I'm over here trying to be Rambo, Rambo C up. And I try to get sneaky because I saw the guy was up there, but I ran across C, so he knows I'm here. And I pick him off right here. I catch that spy plane three, three kill streak, which is uh, always useful for me and the team. And we cap C, so we have all areas. And this is where I run over to A, or no, I don't run over to A. I get killed, and I respawn back at C. And I camp this spot out because I thought he was going to run up on us for a little while. This is a nice little spot because you can see them, but they can't see you. You got a lot of coverage right there. So I run over there, and there's a guy on the left. I get him. And right here is where it gets a little tricky. Yep, that guy gets blown up. And we both run in on each other. And I pick him off. And I get clipped by this grenade. And watch this. The guy tried playing the corner. But I was better. Yup. So. I, I played that corner pretty good. Picked up a FAMAS. Because I was running low on my other FAMAS. And I see a guy pop here on my UAV. So I jump over. Planning to get him. And I don't know where he went. But I do get lucky right here as I catch him going up this, and I shoot through the wood, wooden planks. Now, watch closely up here. Um, I find out where the spawn point is, and I patrol the spawn point out for a little while. And this is where I catch my attack dogs, which really helped us dominate the game. Now, right here, there's I was getting a lot of action right here, so I decided to throw down my napalm. Pick that guy off, and I think I get two kills over here, maybe more. Yep, double kill right there. And I lay down that over A, and this is where I'm waiting for the napalm strike to pop out, and I didn't want to get ran up on from the back, because I was being very, very cautious, because I was really close to my attack dogs, and this is the first time ever catching attack dogs on recording. So I'm playing this area cautiously, because you can get guys from all around from their spawn point. Like right there is a good example, I picked him off. And I believe I'm only one away from my attack dogs right here. I haven't seen this gameplay too much, and I'm just trying to go off the top of my head. So I'm playing this cautiously. I peek around, finish that guy off for my teammate, and right here is where I catch my attack dogs. Or no. Next next time I peek around is where I catch my attack dogs. Right there is where I catch them. And man, was I ecstatic, dude. I, like, attack dogs was something I'd just been working to get on camera again. This is my second time getting attack dogs, my third time ever getting 11 kill streak. Right here is where I knife a guy coming up the corner. And then, if it wasn't for that UAV, I would have hurt him on the turtle beaches. And that shit is great. So I get a little little trigger happy over here because I picked up my attack dogs and I don't even care anymore. And I attack and I attack and I'm picking up more kills. And this is where we move in to get A because my attack dogs are starting to do a lot of work and they're clearing out everything and they open up A for us. Um, if you guys didn't recognize my kill streaks are three five eleven, because usually what happens to me is when I have it on three five seven, I'll always hit that seven and then I'll get eleven kills and I always get frustrated. Like man, why didn't I put attack dogs on? 
So what I do is I play three five eleven because you never know when you're gonna get that eleventh kill streak. So right here I feel pretty bad and I call in for backup. And another big thing with this game is communication. If you're not playing with communication, then there's no point at playing at all. Because if not, the other team's just gonna run all over you. So I would advise to play with friends that you like to play with or people you know, which is what I did in this game, and they're helping me out. Um, if you guys didn't notice, this whole the majority through this game, there's two guys posted up in that sniper tower, and they saved my ass so much. Uh, there was one clip, not clip, uh, there was this one guy, he had that stupid uh, spaz, and he's been just murdering me throughout this whole game with that gun. Uh, he was uh, the guy I blew up the grenade, and so he caught me with that spaz, but uh, you'll, you'll see coming up pretty soon. He tries to catch me, but my sniper picks him off, which felt pretty cool to have that sort of backup and confidence. Right here, I think it is. Oh, no, my bad. So I get that guy, and I run back to this area every time. See, that's the guy I'm talking about right there. He, I just couldn't get past him for some reason. But I like to run back to that area every time because it gives me a good view on A, and it's just a really great area. So right here is when the guy's shooting at me, and I had to reload. And by the time I put my sights on him, my sniper had picked him off. And I think that guy was PMC Dusty, a really good guy. I met him in a gun game or sticks and stones. So there we go. I get raped again by that stupid ass fattest gun. I hate that gun so much. So I think this is where it slows down a lot because we're in the lead. I have a good KDR going for me. And right now all I'm thinking about is uploading this to YouTube, which I'm already ecstatic about. So right here, I, pick, I see this guy out the corner of my eye, and I get him, and I camp out this spot for like a split second, and I run, and this is where we catch a B. Uh, I was getting pretty frustrated, as you can see, because I couldn't lay down in prone, and I was trying to find a spot so I could lay down. So after this, I run back to my spot, or, yeah, I run back to the spot, this guy gets hit, and this is where I realize there's another guy camping about like 10 feet away from me, so I just wait for my team to come in and take him out. So right here, I believe the Huey comes in, wipes out A for us, and we cap A coming in. There he goes. He cap, he wipes out the area, so we run in for A, wait this out, and as you can see, as he's wiping everybody out, they make it to this little hut, which is where Nova Gas comes in very handy for me. There we go. I finish this guy off, and I see another guy on my sensors. Or my, not my sensor, my UAV. And I try to pick him off, but the, the Huey gets to him first. And this is where I feel pretty bad, too. Um, coming up right here is where they're all running into the hut. And I chuck a Nova Gas in there. And I'm getting all these hit markers, and I'm like, oh, man, there's a lot of guys in there. So I run in, I see one, and his homeboy comes up and blindsides me. And I was so irritated. I was like, god damn it. Like, why didn't I just chuck my frag in there or whatever? So that happens, his Huey is done, they all come flooding out like a cat, like a mouse when the cat's gone. So right here is when we're losing A and I get the game kill with a stick, with a sticky grenade. Uh, right there I wanted to point out something. I'm very happy that was the last kill because I would have got hit when that guy turned around. So that was my, that was my game commentary on jungle, uh, domination. I hope you guys enjoyed it as, as much as I did making it. Uh, don't forget to rate. It helps me out. Comment. lets me know what you guys are thinking. And to subscribe because uh, it encourages me to do more videos. Alright. Dribble out.